Hey there, Stampin' Friends. Welcome to Movie Monday with Jody Breckbill, Stampin' Queen. Today I'm going to show you how to do this adorable sympathy card. Um, you can actually change your sentiment to be whatever you need, and I am going to change it up a little bit in this video. But I was perusing the internet, which I often do when it is time for wow class, and I came across this on Song of My Heart Stampers blog and thought that is really a neat technique that just adds a little extra wow without a lot of work. So let's get to it and I'll show you how to do that. You're going to take a piece of crumb cake cardstock and stamp our, we're using, let me show you the stamp sets first. Slow down, Breck Bill. Okay, we're going to use birthday balloons and I'm happy to tell you I have seen the new catalog and the stamp set is in it. It's coming over from the occasions. We get to keep it and timeless textures, which is in our new catalog as well. Yay! This set is awesome. It was kind of a sleeper in there. I really didn't think I needed to have it. And then lo and behold, I had to buy it and I use it a lot to do some really cool, quick, vintagey looking backgrounds. So using our basic black archival ink, I'm going to ink up that big flower and stamp that off to the left a little bit on my crumb cake cardstock. And then I'm going to use my sentiment. Now I did have on my original sample I used with sympathy. This is a little set that came in a paper pumpkin kit. Um, for the life of me, can't remember which one it was, but there's the sympathy set we have with love, we have hello and for you. So um, love the fact that we get an exclusive set in our paper pumpkin kits and we get to keep using them over and over again. So you can only get those stamp sets as a paper pumpkin subscriber. Okay, I'm gonna do with love on this one. So give a little stamp there in my basic black. And then I'm gonna take the grid from the Timeless Textures. Um, I did a mask here. This is stamped on just some regular scrap paper that I had. Let's cut it out. Yes, that's fussy cut with the scissors. We don't have a die for that one. And I'm just going to lay that over top of what I just stamped on my crumb cake. Now I do want to stamp off because I really didn't want full strength black. I want the flower to pop and not so much the um, the grid, but I'm just kind of doing a little bit of a random background there. Leaving the grit or the um, mask on there. One thing that is really helpful that I don't have, I think they sell larger post-it notes. Um, you know, they might be a, a, like two, pa um, two regular post-it notes together. I think you can get those. That's what I would stamp on. I like post-it notes as my mask because they've got the little bit of sticky, but I don't have those. So check at Staples or the Walmart and see if they've got them. So now I'm going to use my crumb cake ink and I'm going to use the little flourish from that same stamp set, Timeless Textures, and just do some flourishes on here. Now what will happen then is we're going to peel off the mask and you'll see that I have background and it looks like the flowers actually to the front, but we didn't do any cutting or layering which is very nice because let me tell you, that sucker is a lot of fussy cutting. Okay, so that is really um, about all the stamping that we need to do. The final step is going to be to take your white gel pen and, um, you know, I do love everything stamping up, I really do. But I have used numerous gel pens in my crafting life and I have to tell you that this gel pen is probably one of the best ones that I have used. And I'm left-handed and I think that does affect what I like because I, I get a lot of smearing when I'm, when I'm writing. Now, the sad news is this gel pen is on the retiring list. So it is actually leaving us. It will not be carried over into the next catalog. And the even sadder news is it is sold out. So we do not have the gel pen anymore. That's really nice, Jody. Thanks for sharing that with us. Show me something that I can't get. That's perfect. Anyway, if you have it, this is a great um, technique. If you don't have this particular gel pen, hop over to another big box store and, and grab one. It will work. Um, I just tend to like this one as my favorite um, gel pen that I've ever used. Anyway, moving on, what we're going to do is just take that gel pen 
and we're going to trace the inside of your stamped image. So there's really no right or wrong way to do this, but you're just going to go around the inside. Now, again, I am doing this on my video and I can't get my big head in <laughs> to get close enough to what I'm, what I'm tracing. Let me start with bigger leaves. How about that? So that I don't block your view. Okay, so this is all you're going to do is just this little tedious work of tracing inside your uh, every single leaf, every single stem, every single petal. Now, one thing with the gel pen is it is a wet pen um, because you want it to look white. You don't want it to absorb into your cardstock. And so it takes a little time to dry. And if you are a lefty, um, you have to determine where you're working from. Like you don't want to slide your hand over top of that. So I just keep turning it and just doing all the inside of the leaf. Okay. So you can kind of see how I've started doing that. Now to save you from having to watch paint dry, ta-da, there we go. Now I didn't stamp, um, my um, backgrounds on that one just yet, but I did go ahead and trace it and, and easily I can cover it with the mask and do those uh, backgrounds again. But um, we're going to use our black satin, um, I think this is black satin stitched ribbon is what it's called. And I just take a piece, I'm gonna put adhesive on the back here and just tack that around Okay, so that will go like that, and guess what I don't have in my hand? I don't have my adhesive. Okay, I'm going to mat it onto a layer of basic black, and then it'll finally go onto my base of Whisper White so that we end up with this card. I did take a little piece of ribbon here and just slid that underneath and tied a knot. And again, guess what? Black satin ribbon is retiring. Guess what else? It's sold out. So I, I had no idea this is what was going to happen when I did this class um, at the end of April, but there's where we are, folks. And let me just tell you with the retiring list, um, if there are some things that are retiring, you definitely want to get them because they do start to sell out. So anyway, that is our quick and painless card. And um, I hope you guys will join me next week for Movie Monday. Have a great week.